It's the society which goes round reenacting historical English battles on the sites where they actually took place. It claims that everything is authentic, except that nobody gets killed, and it's all for charity. Edit 5 donned its armour and wound the clock back 350 years. Come back here! It gets me away from sort of the, the normality of life as, as you know it. It's a little bit like travelling back in time. It's not like when you're a kid, you know, and you, and you run around and play so it's, it's not like that. It's, you have to see it to believe it. It's the only adult hobby I've ever took with. I love it. I can't, I can't go into it. I could eat, breathe and sleep with the time. It's, it's, it's tremendous fun. My name's Stuart Flower, I'm a bus driver for Radio York. It's changed every day, you never know quite what's going to happen from one day to the other, or which route you're going to be on, or who you're going to meet. I don't know which is the hardest, getting ready for the muster, or actually doing the fighting. I'm in uh, Sir Thomas Glennon's regiment, sure it's, it's named from the yeah. governor of York in 1642. Um, I'm the commanding officer and I've got the rank of a Lieutenant Colonel. It's been well over 20 years now in Seal Mart. When we first started going out together, he used to disappear for weekends during the summer, and I used to think, well, where's he going? And when he explained everything, I said, well, I'll come along one weekend, you know, just to see what goes on. And everybody seemed to have just, just a great time, and that was it. I joined up straight away. I'm David Murray Fennick and I work for Northern Electric and uh, I lay cables into substations and, and into houses. I got involved with a sale not in Ooh. 1976. I was working in a pub in Scarborough and there were some people having a meeting there and I accidentally went along and when well, I got up to Ellie. Oh, you're all right, yeah. take it back to that. Friday night sees Stuart, Dave and a few friends preparing for a weekend's battling. Val decided to sit this one out. For this small part of the Royalist Army, the destination is Ashby de la Zouche in Leicestershire. Ashby Castle. It was here in 1644 that the Parliamentarian army laid siege to the Royalists. 300 years on, the sealed knot planned to reenact that siege in front of a paying audience. This is the authentic camp where everything is just as it was in the 17th century. And this is what they call the plastic camp a mile down the road where most of the sealed knotters stay. On the eve of battle, it's time to make merry. For who knows what the morrow may bring? Oh, oh! We got kicked out of the beer tent last night. <laughs> Didn't want to serve us no more. For Sean Fairley from I'll Leeds, it brought a problem. It's bad. It's bad down, He's the yeah. commanding officer of the Earl of Manchester's regiment. Many of whose members come from West Yorkshire. Yeah, a little bit more. No, it's the social side. That's what it's all about. We once did a battle. Well, it was a living history, actually. And this lady says to me, let's make it look like you've been wounded in the leg. So she sprays all this gun all over my socks. Just don't worry, it'll wash out. This were white, these were. You thought the Army of Parliament marched on a week to Vicks as well? Hello, Ian. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? All right. Not too bad. You're a liar. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, you the whole idea is to have fun. Oh, we have what? fun doing it. The audience has fun watching us doing it. 
and we raise money for charities. So, where's the harm? That's the one at American Guy. Yeah. That's right. That's a brilliant one of Julia. It is, though, isn't it? First battle yeah. as well. I'm Rachel Starley, and I'm the lady good wife for the regiment. I go on the field with the ladies. We make sure the men don't get dehydrated and keep them watered and basically look after the, the men on the field. It was this regiment that brought us together. It's got a lot to answer for the seal knot. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, the Siege of Ashby Muster. Scripts. I want commanding officers to have scripts. Can all the commanding officers have There is a, a script, yeah. which um, denotes um, the what we'll the two sides will be doing for the afternoon. Um, and we try and follow the script as, as much as we can. But it isn't choreographed like a film. Um, things go wrong in a battle like they did in the actual Civil War. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to take the gun down on the trailer to the background, which is by the castle. So, you'll be ramming today. Come on, Manchester, fire up! I'm not sure what the plan of action is for this afternoon, except that we are to do some serious damage to the Royalists. So there's nothing new in that. Anybody got a fag on them? This is the good bit. You go and take your fingers off. Makes you feel a little bit more protected when you've got one of these on. Just now you know what I mean. Turtle feels like. Dave and Stuart are lending their gun to the opposition today. We're going to go into the fighting for Parliament because the Parliament had all the big artillery pieces in the Battle of Aquadella Zeus, so it wouldn't be fitting to have the Royalist guns fitted out with the large cannons. So we're going to actually fight for Parliament. Well, the artillery is anyway. I'll fight for the Royalist side as I normally do. Prepare to march! March on! Wheeling to your left! To your left hand! Left wheel! The only, the only time that we are serious is when we're on the battlefield. We have to be from a safety point of view. If I give an order, I expect that order to be obeyed. I will not, I never have them taken lip from anybody on the battlefield. Show me your face! Draft, but once we got it together, again, it worked. More of the same tomorrow. We'll have a bigger pipe block because there's more of us playing at Pikeman tomorrow. Musketeers, your one criticism was your dress, uh, your drill standard. Try and learn to march, please. Brilliant, fantastic. Great battle. Great scouts. We're fighting Manchester, and it took five of them to get me on the floor. And they flipped me off a fence and I landed on a pike. I bruised on my rib, but 
I still still stayed on there, give them all out. When you come off the field, it, you're like on a high. You you know you're knackered, you know you're tired, and you've given your all, but you're still on a high for a while. You know it takes time to wind down now to, re to realise what you've been up to on an afternoon. Back to the campsite. Two tins of beer because the first one touched the site, and just relax and rest. Have a bite to eat and then party on for the rest of the night and do it all again tomorrow. Only all wars ended the same way.